the, the central um, problem that has been the focus of my life and everything that I've done has been centered on um, having a successful love relationship, right? So I saw my parents when, when they were growing up and I hated that my parents' uh, marriage deteriorated. And, um, you know, as young as I can remember, five, six years old, I wanted to be married. I wanted to have a family. Um, I've never been the guy that, that, you know, wanted to do threesomes and groupies and I, like, I just, I've never been that guy. I always wanted to, uh, commit, commit and have a single successful relationship. So the, the, the scientist in my mind and in my study of spiritual texts and things like that, I've always been looking for the secret to um, successful uh, love relationships. And then as I've grown, it's sort of expanded and I'm seeing the through line. Uh, oh, the same basic ideas are successful parenting and the same basic ideas are being a uh, successful follower or a successful leader or a successful student. And I started to see the central issues with all of human relating. And it's, it's the, the problems, or it's not even problems, the problem is really singular. In if you're talking about a husband and a wife, or you're talking about a, a parent and a child, or a Democrat and a Republican, or a, a you know a Saudi and an American, whatever, in all of the configurations of of human difficulty, at the at the center of it is almost exclusively a lack of understanding of the other person's perspective, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, it sounds simple and it, 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 it may oversimplify slightly, but the, the, the concept of ignorance, the concepts of ignorance and delusion are always the problem. <laughs> yeah. Right? It's, it's always the center. If you have a difficulty with another human being, there's some point of ignorance and some point of delusion that are keeping you from being able... On both sides. On both sides, <laughs> right? And the, the problem is you can only worry about yours. You have to clear yours... And then once you clear yours and your vision gets uh, clean and purified and you approach a person from a purified space, things get a whole lot easier, you know? And it's like you're all, you're, you are always bringing poison to the party. And when you recognize that in any difficulty you're having with any human being, you brought poison to the party, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And if you can focus on locating and purifying the, the poison you brought, mm -hmm. it opens up entirely new avenues of connection and compromise and solutions that you can create with a person. And, you know, that has really been the, the central focus of my life and being an actor has been spectacular in that way because my life is exploring my mind, mm -hmm. you know, and changing it, right? When I play a character who believes something that I don't believe, I have to learn how to feel something that's in opposition to my truth, yeah. which is a spectacular skill set to have to uproot beliefs, yeah. implant new ideas, and have them blossom on camera at the right moment. Yeah. You know, it's been such a, a powerful um, inner process of development 
to explore acting in conjunction with spirituality and supreme absolute truth, you know, to explore that as my job. Yeah. Is fantastic. <laughs> Everyone should be trained as an actor. I know, right? When you first said that to me, when you first said that to me, I was like, I never thought of it. And obviously I'm not an actor, and so I wouldn't know that. But when you said that to me, I was like, wow, that's like how people should be taught how to be students. Right. Because the idea that you have the skill set, and it's mm -hmm. a skill mm -hmm. to put your beliefs aside yes. and go, I need to live by the beliefs that this character would die for. Absolutely, yes. And what would they be willing to die for? Yes. And then you're experimenting with it, and then yes. you can see whether you like it or not. Right, absolutely. And how it feels, whereas yep. most of us are so grounded in our own beliefs that we don't know how to take that hat off right. and put another one on. Absolutely. And that's where all of our issues come from, because that story of someone else. Yeah.